What is going on folks? Welcome back to the channel. I am back and today I will be revealing my 2024 YouTube Sports Car Hall of Fame ballot. First of all, I want to shout out to Legends Never Die for keeping this cool national event in our hobby life. And also, I believe that everyone out there deserves recognition, in my opinion. Uh, especially for their contributions to the hobby and everything that they share from mail days, uh, picking up singles at the car shops, at the LCS, whatever you want to call it, car shows, opening boxes, showing amazing collections. I've seen a lot of channels over the years with amazing collections from vintage to modern. So I truly believe that everyone deserves your recognition that they put into their channels. And without any further ado, here's my ballot to this year's YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame. Let's do it. So my first vote is going to go to CV Baseball Card Collector. Cesar has been in the hobby for ages. Being constant for like at least 10 years on YouTube. He goes sports car hunting, shells CTMs, show his PC. Uh, he also collects, I believe, Hot Wheels, if I'm not mistaken, and coins and paper bells, etc. So I think that's pretty cool. And the hobby, I've always say this, it doesn't matter what you collect. I mean, it could be cards, it could be Hot Wheels, it could be coins, paper money, whatever you want. It's a hobby for everything. So Cesar, you earned this vote, my dude. My second pick is Will and Cards. This guy is on my list because he's been around for a decade. I mean, it's insane the amount of content he's put up. And he hardly gets any recognition. Uh, he collects from all kinds of sports from what I've seen. I've seen football, basketball, hockey, baseball, uh, I believe some soccer as well. I, I mean, he collects a lot of stuff. A lot of singles that he shows. What I love about this guy is that he shares some of his 90s to 2010s collection. Something I personally enjoy. And his videos are very short and cut and dry. He also does a lot of uh, wax and box scenes with his mom. I personally have never seen no one else do that in a hobby. That's very special in my opinion. So he earns my vote. And there you go, man. Wells and Carts. You got it, man. Keep doing your stuff. Now this is another OG in the car community. The professor himself, Sports Clown. He gets my vote for his longevity, clean and simple videos from unboxings. He skips a lot of, you know, like when he's opening packs, he just skips it all. He doesn't want people to see that. He wants to make things really short. And I think that's very important. You know, most people, to be honest, are not going to sit there watching a 15, 20 minute video. So he does his videos kind of short, which is pretty cool in my opinion. He appears to show some of his collection once in a blue moon and goes to basketball games, hockey games, etc. And he also gets financial advice to not make stupid mistakes or dumb decisions into this market. OG, you get my vote, my dude. Now, I don't know why this guy's not in the Hall of Fame. Mike Line TV. Mikey has been in this hobby for many, many, many years. He's one of the first people that actually inspired me to return back into the hobby in 2017. I mean, I watched him opening wax and parking lots and stores. I believe he was inside of some stores opening packs when I wasn't collecting and from that point I realized what I've been missing so I, I'm like you know what I'm gonna go back to collecting cards get me a few packs maybe a box or something and open it for the channel what I like about this guy the most is that we both PC the teams same teams and empty wrappers which is truly rare in the hobby I mean I don't I don't see no one else collecting wrappers I don't think maybe there's some folks out there I just have never never seen their channels but Mikey you're one of a kind my man so you get the vote. Now this channel is very unique. A lot of people, um, especially in the car community, have asked them if they've watched this channel. They have never seen this guy, ever heard of him. Which is insane because he he has an amazing channel. And I can see why many people probably don't recognize it as you know something worth watching. But in my opinion, you're missing out because this channel is one of the few that does ACMR. AC Mart's huge community, as we all know, or we should know. But this channel has amazing sports car related content to ACMR. And this man seems to be more consistent than any other ACMR channels, in my opinion. Car channels. I don't know him personally, but I know he's out there in the occult Midwest. And me being a huge fan of ACMR, I enjoy his content. He does a really great job. And he also has a cool car website, which is worth checking out. 
has a lot of cool product, hotcardboard.com. Check it out, guys. This next one is a dude from SoCal, huge Lakers and Kobe fan. He doesn't do a lot of card content these days, but he is my inspiration from Fairfield Jumble Boxes, folks. The first video he put up a few years back, I've, I've watched, and I, I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. You get to get a lot of uh, old school cards, what, 90s, and, you know, from when, when I started collecting to early 2000s, and I just thought of actually going down to Target that day and buying my first box of jump, Fairfield Jumble Box. So ever since then, I've been putting a mad content of Fairfield. I probably have the most content than anyone else. I don't think no one else has the most content out there for Fairfield products. And thanks to him, I actually, you know, managed to, I guess, break a record if you want to call it. But he did mention, one thing he did mention before was making a comeback with more card content. So I hope he does. He seems like a really cool guy and he's got a very unique style of unboxing cards in my opinion. Now this next guy is out in Japan. He goes by Kazutokyo of Sports Cards. He's been in the hobby for more than 10 years and he shares a lot of content. I mean, he started sharing content from memorabilia to going to ball games, card unboxings and breaking. He does more breaking on the side from, from what I've seen over the years. But I believe he deserves this vote because more people in the hobby that are overseas deserve more recognition, in my opinion. Now for this next person, this is a great friend of mine. I believe we need more women in the hobby. She goes by Kill Sports Cards. This gal has been in the hobby for ages and has been posting for almost eight years with great content. And she's almost been uploading the same kind of content from what I've seen as she did when she first started YouTube. Like a lot of football, and in my opinion, like a lot of old school football boxes, like from the early 2000s, maybe some late 90s in there. And to me, that's amazing. That's an amazing milestone, and appreciate her for being original. Keep it original, homegirl. Here's another great woman in the hobby, and many of us know who she is. Susan, also known as Yang Shik. She's very active on Twitter X, or I guess you want to call it, I don't know, maybe X, I guess, is new. But, I don't know, I call it Twitter still. Anyway, Susan is a huge Yankees and Jeter fan. She's got thousands and thousands of Jeter cards in her collection. I mean, that's insane, folks. I want to say that she's the reason why I decided to start logging every single card in my collection. And I still have a long way to go, folks. She also attends many car shows, does mail days, and shows some of the singles picked up from the car shows or the mail days. Which is something I often enjoy watching on YouTube. I like watching other people actually open envelopes and you know whatever packages care packages they get and just showing a whole bunch of cards in there so thank you for all you do in the community season you're awesome now my last vote is going to go to another og and the hobby and channel that i watched quite often before i came ahead of retirement the legend cisco 69 I mean, no one else did it like this guy. He was like the Pac-Man of cards, but instead he would just go to his old LCS, PJ Sports Cards, and Chula Vista. Rest in peace to Harry, who was the owner. I believe Cisco hasn't posted sports cards content in forever, but him and his buddy filming those amazing moments and pulling those sick cards out of high-end product is a true gem and one of a kind in this hobby. This dude needs to be in the YouTube Hall of Fame, period. And that's my bell for 2024, folks. I wish I could have added a few more channels, but some still don't have the three mark yet. So maybe next year, hopefully they get in. Now let's keep on sharing our passion and this hobby and dedication from others that they put in. And with that being said, good luck to all. Take it easy, folks. Thanks for watching.